This video will help you prepare for your first date, including a checklist to follow so you decrease your chances of making a mistake. We'll go over many things, including but not limited to date confirmation through text, wallet, safety, weather, location, conversation, and what to do if things go wrong. Timestamps are in the description, so let's get started. The confirmation of a date. This will be a very simple text, right? The day before or the day of. Now, texting is a very different topic for a whole nother video. If you want to see more detailed guide, let me know in the comment. The basic example is something like this. Hi, Jen. 7 p.m. tonight at location name. Still work for you? Might rain. Bring an umbrella. Or we can grab your favorite ice cream afterward, followed by your, your name. You keep the text simple. You greet her because people love seeing their names. The restaurant, so that she's going to be thinking about food and get hungry. And then when you say might rain, bring an umbrella, you consider it, you know, you don't want her to get wet. Plenty of time for her to get wet later on in the relationship. And then the ice cream or any food shows her that you remember the details that she told you prior. That's why it's important to even ask her these things before your first date. Clothing and wallet, right? Clothes, if you're ever unsure, go simple. Jeans, t-shirt, and, you know, maybe a jacket. That's it. Wallet, just make sure you have your license, your ID, your credit card, and some sort of backup just in case your first credit card doesn't work. And bring some extra cash for tipping and for parking. And if there's parking that requires money, let her know in advance. Make sure the driving spot is relatively easy for both you and her to meet if you guys are meeting halfway. You know, do things like clean your car, vacuum it, and uh, make sure the car has a lot of fuel. Safety is going to be your number one concern, so make sure you preferably you take her to places you're familiar with. Don't go to random places that you haven't been to, literally, just because you saw some Yelp reviews online or something. Location and places to meet and activity. Generally, in picking a place, you know, movies are typically for younger kids or maybe even college kids or workers who already know each other before the first date. Right? Movies are generally not a good place because you're not looking at each other. You're watching a movie, you're not having a conversation, you're just looking at the screen. You don't get a chance to know each other. Remember that exciting activities will give you and her more endorphins, more excitement. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with picking a simple place like coffee. In picking a place, make sure it's a place that has a really good clean restroom. Because remember, as a guy, for you, even a dirty restroom is okay because you're standing. However, from a woman's perspective, a dirty restroom is nasty. Because she has to sit down, and if there's no toilet seat cover and all that, it's just a, it's a mess. Put her in a good mood, and um, both of you will be winners. The weather. Make sure you check the weather. If it's a night date, you know, it might be possibly cold, so bring a jacket. Bring an extra jacket, just in case. For her, if you need it, if you want to. And possibly an umbrella. Okay, so backup plan. You know, we tend to not want to think if things go wrong, but you never know. So spend a few minutes thinking of, of a backup plan in case something goes wrong. And the first thing I've got to tell you is your mindset. Your mindset is one of the most important things. Expect that maybe sometimes things will not work out. And then second is telling yourself that, hey, no matter what happens, I will fix it. I will take care of it. I will figure out a way. The actual date. Make sure you come early. This is the only time in your life where it's okay to come early. Right? Check in. Introduce yourself to, you know, the people there, the waiter, the waitress, the receptionist. Put your name down on the waiting list if needed. Conversation for a first date is one rule is to keep it lighthearted, plain, simple. Let's talk about what topics to avoid and what to talk about. What to talk about. Focus on things about the future, not the past, right? You don't want to revisit the past too much about yourself or herself. Talk about things moving forward. Dreams for the future. Your aspiration, hopes, desires, plans, and goals. You know, when you're having a conversation and you're talking about your family member or your friends, let's say you want to talk about your sister. Instead of just throwing out her name, you'll say, oh, you know, I have a sister named so-and-so. You know, she and I, we love to cook. And then that allows you to kind of segue into different things. 
So you learn things about each other, and you all you started off was with one single name. Remember that when you're asking questions, also throw out some statements as well, right? You don't want to overdo it asking questions too many, because it seems like some sort of FBI interrogation, or some sort of stalker, like you're trying to find out every little detail about her. So throw some questions out, wait for her to reply, throw some statements, you know, mix it up. You know, since both of you are going to be nervous, it's okay. You know, pauses in the conversation is going to be very normal. She's nervous. You're you're nervous. Instead of talking too much, I would focus more on listening, listening to the keywords that she gives you, so that you can take those keywords and ask, follow up with some question or some statement or some sort of observation. Topics you want to avoid talking about. This is so important. First date, keep things simple. You want to avoid talking about things like religion, abortion, politics, ethics, and morals. These are topics that are definitely not first date material. Later on, as you get to know each other more, these topics have to come up. They have to come up asap, so you know that you are aligned with each other. So, what do you do when you know this date? It's not going very well. You know it. So what you guys got to do in this situation, you have to pull off the bandaid quickly. Okay, you can't just drag on the date. So how do you escape this? You've got to be honest with her, and uh, you got to use the sandwich approach. Get her to a private place, but obviously make sure she still feels safe. It's still within the proximity of people, but just not too close. You know, you have a seat, and you tell her, you say, "Hey, there's something we need to talk about." I really respect that you know you go into college, you're getting a degree in mathematics, and you're trying to do so so many good things, and you seem to be such a good good person, but I don't see us being a good match because of our direction in life. The circumstances are just too different. When people hear you say something like this, they appreciate because you're honest, you're being respectful, you're not insulting them, you're trying your best to kind of find a good angle. And people will most likely respect that. And if they don't, and they get all crazy at you, then you dodge a freaking bullet. No, 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 not a bullet. You dodge a cannonball. So one thing I would caution is not to spend too much time on preparing for the first date. Right? This is just the first date, just to see how you guys are a match for each other. So don't make the mistake of caring too much, having your expectations so high that if things don't. Work out, you're gonna end up getting, you know, devastated. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know down in the comment if there's anything I might have missed. And、uh, I look forward to see you all in the next video.